Hello everyone, my name is Johan Stein and in this short video, I would like to speak to you about what is the Internet of Things or IoT. It is a term that's thrown around a lot um, and I think different people mean different things with it, but I want to use this short video to just give you a brief and an easy way to understand this technology. Here's a quote that's interesting. Sensors and processing power, software and other technologies embedded in physical items or groups of physical objects allow them to communicate and share data with other devices over the internet or over communication networks. So you essentially have sensors, devices, physical devices that collect data and they send it somewhere. That is what is the internet of things, but it is also a lot more than that. Now, the idea of sensors sending information somewhere is not new. We've seen this in weather stations and traffic control, even airplanes. I mean, an airplane is to some extent a massive IoT device sending so much information to the control tower and to the airplane producers. But what has changed in this last uh, few years? The ability for us to better understand these signals, but also for these signals or the data that we receive to autonomously, in other words, without human intervention, speak with each other is really something new. In other words, these devices can speak to each other and give them different kind of instructions. So why has this happened? Firstly, we've had a massive increase in processing power. These days, actually, the processing power in these devices and your cell phone, your smartphone is a good example, or your smart speaker. There's so much processing power in that device. So whether it is a weather station or just a security device, its ability to process data and make autonomous decisions and actions has increased significantly. And then, of course, our ability to have signals, you know, 4G, 5G, the ability for these devices on a very quick way and in big data streams to communicate to one another has increased rapidly. And then, of course, cloud computing, the ability to send this information to the cloud where it can be processed rapidly with machines that we can most likely never afford ourselves in our homes or businesses. So these days we speak a lot about the so-called edge computing and edge computing to some extent, is not the same as IoT, but it really means that the ability to process the uh, information and to store the information is closer to the source of the information. In other words, in the devices. We no longer have to wait for all these so-called dumb devices to share information to our dashboards so we can make decisions. A lot of the processing of this data can happen at the source on the device. Then, of course, 5G, which is a new thing, somewhat controversial, but the ability for these devices to send signals to speak to one another will increase thousandfolds because of this technology. And then something into the future when we talk about the brain computer interface, when we are starting to get implants, which is already a reality, if you think of Elon Musk's company Neuralink, the ability through edge computing devices, through 5G networks to speak to our brain implants. And there's a lot of health benefits, but there's also a lot of concerns around privacy and about um, ethics and the like. So that shortly is the Internet of Things. Think of this. It's not just devices sending information. It's devices that are smart enough to process the, automation, the information, make autonomous decision, and speak to one another. The business benefits and applications are incredible. The healthcare benefits are incredible. But also the impact on society around ethics and privacy is something we really have to think about.